MediaTek are finally giving Qualcomm a run for their money in terms of flagship chipset performance with the Dimensity 9000 CPU. But can it outperform the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 in terms of efficiency, thermals, and most importantly, speed? Today we will be putting an end to all of these questions by comparing the Dimensity 9000 run Redmi K50 Pro to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 powered Xiaomi 12 Pro in the speed test. Both devices are kitted with UFS 3.1 storage and 12 gigs of RAM, but the Redmi has LPDDR5X modules while the Xiaomi is using LPDDR5 RAM. Both devices have been updated to their latest available software updates and both phones are set to their native WQHD Plus resolutions. But while both phones do have 120 hertz refresh rate panels, the Xiaomi actually has LTPO 2.0 technology so it can refresh between 1 and 120 hertz. I have also gone into the developer options of both devices to ensure that both phones are still set to 1x in terms of animation scales and have gone into app battery saver on both devices and gone through all 20 apps that will be running through today and set them all to no restrictions so that they can continue to run in the background. And of course since they are both MIUI run devices I'll be enabling performance mode on both phones. Round 1 will be all about a boot, a fingerprint and a face unlock. Round 2 will be all about initial opening app speed and round 3 will be all about RAM management. We're going to be using my fingers here today so we're going to be popping GoPro footage at the bottom left hand corner for accuracy. I'm extremely excited to see which chipset comes out on top. This is Technic and without further ado, let's go! We're going to be kickstarting things off here with a simple boot to see which one can power on quickest and it is indeed the Xiaomi 12 Pro doing it in just 26 seconds picking up its first points in round 1 as opposed to the crazy 36.5 seconds on the Redmi K50 Pro. Of course round 1 is not really comparing the chipset speeds but the actual individual device speeds and the Xiaomi loads into all the app icons quicker than that of the K50 Pro when first booting up but the K50 Pro has a physical fingerprint sensor and is a lot quicker than that of the Xiaomi 12 Pro's optical under display sensor but when it comes to comparing facial recognition over here they're both so identical and they were neck and neck every single time so no point was allocated over there so wrapping up round one with two points toward the Xiaomi and one point toward the Redmi K50 Pro and before we get things going on to round two we're going to be checking the battery percentage at the start 99% on the Redmi and 97% on the Xiaomi as well as the temperatures at the start and while it seems a bit hot I did leave the phones idle for quite a while they only started to generate heat while I was showing you all the specifications during the introduction but we're going to be comparing that temperature at the end of this test to see which one gains the most so we're not really checking out which one is the hottest at the end but which one has gained the most in terms of degrees celsius the first app that being settings was neck and neck second app also a system app that being calculator once again neck and neck so no point allocated over there for either device going into camera also once again too close to call but flipping to the selfie cam the redmi k50 pro was quicker and taking the photo the redmi k50 pro was quicker quicker as well picking up its second points in round two going into the gallery app was too close to call and opening up the photo that we just took once again too close to call for both devices opening up our first third party app here that being photoshop express bit of a delay on both of them from me touching it to them opening but the redmi was quicker in opening it up and was quicker in going into the photo that we just took now saving both of these two the respective gallery, the Redmi was quicker even though they're both utilizing the same UFS 3.1 storage. Five points on the Redmi, zero points on the Xiaomi. Moving on to Adobe Rush over here, the Redmi was quicker in opening up the app but they were neck and neck when going into the project over here and now we're going to be exporting and I usually export it and compress it down to 1080p from 4k and match the frame rate. This time we're going to be matching the resolution of 3840 by 2160 that being 4k and matching the frame rates of 25 fps so it's going to take a little longer to render when compared to my previously done speed tests but it looks like the Xiaomi 12 Pro is coming out on top and it does with 10.5 seconds using the same UFS 3.0 one storage as the Redmi K50 Pro which did it in 13 seconds though different it's pretty close I guess you could say 10.5 and 13 seconds but when you're rendering a huge file that's going to be quite a big difference going into our next app over here that being Spotify the Redmi K50 Pro picks up its seventh point as opposed to the one individual point that we have on the Xiaomi 12 Pro going into Astral VPN since we need a VPN here in China the Xiaomi 12 Pro picks up its second point over here opening it up a hell of a lot quicker than that of the K50 Pro and enabling the VPN on both devices was too close to call going into Google Chrome the first app that we actually need in order to to run with a VPN is Google Chrome and the Xiaomi 12 Pro picks up its third point over there. Hopping into Facebook, they both did really weird things at really 
strange times, but they both ended off with the same result. So it was too close to call. No point was allocated. Going into Instagram, our next social media app. Hopping into this one, the Xiaomi 12 Pro picks up its fourth point, opening it up quite a bit quicker than that of the Redmi K50 Pro. And going into Twitter over here, which one is going to snatch up another point? And it is once again, the Xiaomi 12 Pro closing the gap between it and the Redmi with five points as opposed to seven points on the Redmi K50 Pro. And going into YouTube over here, can the Xiaomi do it again? And no, it cannot. The Redmi K50 Pro and its wonderful Dimensity 9000 4 nanometer run chipset picks up its eighth point. And going into my channel, once again, the Redmi picks up its ninth point. Now we're gonna open up the same video on both devices and we're gonna see which one can play the video quickest and load the whole page quickest. The Redmi plays the video quickest and it loads the whole page faster as well, picking up its first double digit point. That being 10 points, double the points of the Xiaomi 12 Pro. The Redmi K50 Pro and its Dimensity 9000 chipset is smoking the Xiaomi at the moment. And yes, it is cheaper as well. Going into Netflix, too close to call when opening up the app, but going into a profile over here, once again, the Redmi K50 Pro. But now things are gonna start to get quite interesting. We're gonna be testing out Geekbench 5, and then after that, 3 Mark Wildlife. It was too close to call when opening up Geekbench version 5 over here to get into the actual app, but speeding through it, bottom right hand corner, I have sped it up as you can see. The Redmi K50 Pro was quicker, doing it in two minutes and 24 seconds, as opposed to two minutes and 37.5 seconds. So the Redmi picks up its 12 points over here. It also had a higher single and higher multi-core score when compared to the Xiaomi and I'm not too surprised by that since the MediaTek run Dimensity 9000 chipset is known to have better CPU performance across the board since it has higher clock speeds. But when it comes to GP performance, the Adreno 730 on the Xiaomi within the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chipset is supposedly better than the Mali GPU that we have within the MediaTek Dimensity 9000 chip. And it proves over here with a higher score on the Xiaomi and a higher FPS, but not by that much. Though the point was still allocated toward the Redmi because it actually sped through the test quicker than that of the Xiaomi. And this is a speed test. And I just pulled down the menu over there, the control center to show you guys that we are still sitting at max brightness, but both devices have dimmed down quite a bit because they've both of course, gotten quite hot. And they have gotten hot because at the end of the day, they are Xiaomi devices. And talking about Xiaomi, the 12 Pro just picked up its sixth point over there after opening up Subway Surfers, our first game, quicker than that of the Redmi K50 Pro. So GPU things seem to be better on the Snapdragon, but wait, the Redmi K50 Pro strikes back and opens up its second game quicker than that of the Xiaomi, that being Temple Run 2. Quite impressive, quite a lot faster than the Xiaomi that time around. 15 points on the Redmi, as opposed to just six points on the Xiaomi. This is a bit of a no brainer in terms of performance, but let's see how this test ends out. Going into Among Us over here, the K50 Pro does it again, picking up its 16th point now, 10 points ahead of the Xiaomi 12 Pro and hopping into our last game over here, last app, of the 20, that being PUBG Mobile, speeding up bottom right hand corner, slowing it back down, the Redmi K50 Pro picks up its 17th point, doing it in just 19 seconds, as opposed to 23.5 seconds on the Xiaomi 12 Pro. Now for the last round, that being round three, we're gonna be testing out RAM management, going from back to the top, all the way to the bottom right hand corner in terms of apps and seeing which ones are kept open and which ones are killed. Photoshop being the first one killed on both devices, as well as Premiere Rush over here and going into Spotify, the Redmi actually kept it open where the Xiaomi killed it, so it picked up its first points over there. The rest of the apps, they both kept open pretty well, even though we have LPDDR5X RAM modules on the Redmi as opposed to LPDDR5 on the Xiaomi, they both have 12 gigs of RAM. They kept all apps open, except for the one app being Instagram on the Xiaomi, which it kept open, was killed on the Redmi, and the Redmi kept open Spotify where the Xiaomi killed it, so they each ended off with one point a piece in round three. And getting to the final battery drain test results, checking out the battery percentage at the end, we are 93% on the Redmi and 91% on the Xiaomi, both draining by 6% and testing out temperature over there. Getting to the final results, the Redmi only added 10.4 degrees in Celsius, whereas the Xiaomi added 13.8 degrees in Celsius. So the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 is hotter, just like we all thought, but I thought the Dimensity 9000 would be more efficient, though it had a milliamp hour per minute drain reading of 21.43, as opposed to the 19.71 on the Snapdragon run Xiaomi 12 Pro. And yes, they did both drain by 6%, but the Redmi has a larger 5000 milliamp hour battery, as opposed to the smaller 4600 milliamp hour battery found within the Xiaomi 12 Pro. But looking at the total score over here, we got 19 points on the Redmi K50 Pro, as as opposed to just nine points on the Xiaomi 12 Pro. They both have great quality displays. They're both great devices, but when it comes down to nitty gritty performance, I do think the Dimensity 9000 comes out just a smidge on top. But if you 
you'd like better battery efficiency. I never thought I'd be saying this, but it's probably a better choice to go for a Snapdragon HN1 powered smartphone. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I did making it. This is Technic, and I'll catch you in the next one.